Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshek, Senior Mexican. Mike Brenner. This is the MLB Odds Couple Show for Saturday, April 30th. Mike Brenner, another full card, uh, 15 games. And uh, I'll tell you yeah. what, again, you know, the, the lot lines are always tight. The market is good, but there's a yes. bunch of plays that I'm kind of liking. I'm actually going to have to. Uh, well, before skip. you get all the way yeah. into that, Pistol Pete, okay, uh, 4 0 oh, 1 yesterday. Yeah, let's throw the record up overall. And, Mike uh, Brenner, your record overall is excellent. You're over five units uh, positive. Your ROI is almost 8%. You're hitting 55% with an average line of minus 101. That's pretty which is sharp. Excellent. I like that. Which and is again, excellent. I'm, hey, I just want to do my, do my job, Pistol Pete. Yes. Pete. I got to. I just got a feeling there's some run lines that are really sticking their heads out again today. I cashed some run lines yesterday. And, Absolutely. Uh, you know what? what? And it ended up being a good one for me. I had the Angels on the first half run line yesterday. Yeah. Cash plus 125, you know, and then they lose listen, the game. When you do stuff like that, sometimes the breaks fall your way. Sometimes, sometimes they, they don't. Well, against you. It just feels good because yeah. I'm sure yeah. getting my ass kicked in the NBA right now. So yeah. guess what? This little, th this feels good. And a good few here. days ago, you had a bunch of uh, full game run lines that won by one yeah. run. So, uh, yeah. you know, again, sometimes yeah. when, you, when, you, when you increase your risk like that, sometimes Sometimes it pays off. Sometimes yeah. you get Let's burned. Just All find right. the advantage though for the rest so, of the season, Pistol Pete. Let's we it. got 15 games on the card. The first last game. Let's talk about. Uh, let's talk about Zach Granke right now. Yeah. Now Oof. his last game, he got hit at home. And who, who suggests, who called that? I did call Pistol it. Pete, you I, said I best didn't thing give for it, him is to get out and get the hell on the road. Well, I told you I, I told you that I had bet the over in that one, and I also bet the over in this one on the overnight line. I got it at, you, uh, at uh, 8 minus 120. Now it's uh, 8 and a half minus 115 would be, uh, would be the over. Russin Rusin is going for Colorado. He doesn't have a, a whole lot, uh, you know. My sense is that the value here is with Colorado as a big dog. I just, I, I, I don't trust Granky at home. Yeah, I don't what do either. Nine, nine point something ERA at yeah. home. This kid getting pounded at home. Even though that, that, you know, he's getting some of his confidence back, he hasn't learned to play in that park yet. And right now, I'm not saying fade him, but be careful. I'm even thinking about a first half run line against him mm -hmm. because he's been getting roped early. In the first three innings at home, he's been getting roped. Well, you can't take a first half run line. If you took Colorado, you'd have to take plus a half. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm, you can on an alternative. Run line. You should, Not you on the first five innings. Oh, you can't? Nope. Only oh, okay. on the full game. All yeah. right. Thanks, Pistol Pete. <laughs> All right. Not and, only the line shopper. <laughs> oh, I've been doing this for a long time. All right. So, uh, so that I, I, you know, I bet the over on the overnights. Maybe I'll okay. give it as a play in this uh, in this video. Then there's there's another one that uh, I think might be a might be a sneaky good first five innings play. Uh, Joe Ross from Washington, mm. right? Excellent two starts, a ton of potential, great arm, a lot of stuff on his, uh, on his a lot of movement on his stuff, and uh, he's coming back from a blister. If that blister, if I do for 100% that blister was fully healed, yeah, uh, I, would, I, would, I would have to assume that he's going to have a great start here, yeah. and uh, Washington as an underdog, and an underdog in the first five innings might have some value. What do you think? Yeah. Well, first things first, with that blister, it's something that seems so small, it's not. It's yeah. huge, yeah. And, and I totally get what you're yeah. saying. So I was thinking about going with Washington today on a regular full game, but uh, I'm staying off of mm -hmm. it for right now. Again, with and I read the same information about Ross. I like what he's doing. I like the team starting to put some things together, yeah. too. But ooh, um, I'm staying away from that. What do you I think? Took, I, you know, I, I, I took a small shot with Washington on the overnight line. It's okay. moved to, actually, I, I got it at, like, plus 118. Now it's okay. plus 125 to wow. 128 market-wide. So um, that's tempting. Another one that I'm looking at on the first five innings that I bet small in the overnight is uh, Houston. You yeah. know, uh, they've got this guy, Davinsky, starting. He is a, uh, a reliever who's been good as a reliever. He's not going to go deep, but if you take the five-inning yes. run line, he'll eat wow. up most of the Shot innings. Uh, and then Han is starting for Oakland, and he's a little bit tricky. He is a guy who uh, has had success in the majors. He had some success in the minors, but he is, uh, he's also coming off of, I believe, a, a blister as well. And he's had some control issues in the minors has, this year. And, and his control issues were with a lot of right hand and yeah. hitting in the, in the minors just to and Houston is uh you know you know what you know what I will do I okay. will uh, I will Pull take it. I will give it I will give it Pull it Houston Pistol I will give it Houston uh, ag, and you know what I'll do I'll give it on the plus uh plus uh, okay. a half first five run line probably be about minus 140 150 okay I uh, will check to see what uh, what that line is um, when it comes out but yeah Houston on the first five inning I mean Houston is going to start improving at some point well they have to yeah. it's got to end and their pitching is going to get more solid as well so yeah I look for them to turn and Oakland's soon, not but... a team that I feel bad about betting against right now then another one Philly continues to catch wow, what's going on with this as an underdog yeah well, they're just, they're just, they're not a great team, Again, but they're the a decent team. Again, the number one team, team cashing yeah. tickets, though, they're, in our business, and that's they're, most important. They're, 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 they're not like the, one of the best teams in the majors, but they're a solid team, and they're just undervalued by the market. And Ryan Howard saw the video, because he had yeah, right. a walk-off 11th inning home run last night. And but. here we go again. If you want them, they got Eikhoff starting. He's one of their better starters. And, uh, you know, they opened at plus 115. Now they're plus 124, all the way up to 128. Pete, I got to disagree with you. If he's one of their better starters, that team's in trouble. He's 1-3 and three with a 4.07. Well, no, I mean, he got hit his last time. Out, okay, but he still yeah. had a bunch of strikeouts. I, I, He's no, a live no, young arm, you know. Okay. 
I think the shit's got to stop soon, and it's going to stop today. I'm all over Cleveland. You think Cleveland. the shit stops today? The shit, the stops, shit today. stops today. Right. Cleveland on the run line, plus 130. That's really? where the value is. It's a ticket casher. Wow. I'm just telling you, Trevor Bauer, I'm not real impressed with him. The kid that's pitching right, for Cleveland, right, he's right. 1-0, 4.76. But I'm impressed with Francona. Mm. All right, here's all. This guy's got a hard on for Philadelphia. <laughs> he doesn't like the Phillies. He doesn't like the organization. They fired mm-hmm. him. He's not. He doesn't want to get swept there. All right? That's right. I think Cleveland goes in and gets the run line win, plus 130. Yeah, plus Plus one thirty. So you think? You, see, I think that uh, that that's balls right I think, there. Yeah, buddy. I think, I'm doing I think it. it's better to take I'd much better to take the run line than to take the money line for sure. Because if if, uh, if Cleveland does win, they probably win I by a margin. So. I think so. And, and I think it, today's the day. But mm. you know, my hats off to Philadelphia cash in tickets, man. Hey. Yeah, you're you're definitely going square against the hottest yes, team in baseball. Absolutely, and I feel good about it. Yeah. Okay. Feel good about it. Plus yeah. one thirty. Then uh, let's talk about another one. Another team that's been pretty hot is Boston, and yeah. Uh, yeah. you know Pineda. Pineda is interesting for the Yankees. He's one of these guys who um, his peripherals are, are good. He gets a lot of strikeouts, doesn't walk anyone, but one way or another. Gets, gives up hits. He's always been that way in his career. He yeah. gives up a bunch of runs. The Yankees don't really have the offense to, to support a guy who's getting hit. Portello's been been excellent so far, I know. and it's not a big line here. Boston minus one twenty six. You should have. What do you? Well, that's that's that? why I'm staying off it. I mm-hmm. thought that line should be a little higher. Just just something there just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, last night they leaned on Big Poppy again, and yeah. you can't keep leaning on Big Poppy. They're not getting a whole lot of, of hit production from the top of their order yeah. in early in games. Um, I'm just staying off them right now, but I'm I'm watching keep a close eye on a pistol pete how about you you gonna pull the trigger i might i took it I, on, I, I did might, i did might. but i no, yeah i yeah, might okay. i'll, I'll, I'll announce right. my picks at the end but that's that's okay. another one that's uh that's uh you know i wouldn't mind taking it and then you know i have a pretty decent read on on totals with texas right they're one of my yeah. winners last yes, night with the under and uh that. tonight i'm kind of leaning towards the over it's actually nine at a plus 105 at heritage shoemaker is a guy who uh who is yeah. having a pound, lot of issues pound, right pound yeah. holland is a guy who uh who, who who's who's good who's decent uh you know he's 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 you know, he's a respectable starter, but I think it's a pretty low total for tonight's game, and um, I would be leaning towards the over 9 at plus 1. But you know what? I will give it. I'll, I'll start off with that one officially, plus 105 on the over 9 in, in, in okay, the Okay, well, guess what? I'm jumping in, not on the total, but I have the Angels. I'm oh, taking boy. them on the money line, plus 108, all right? I don't think well, they're going to get... Well, where are you seeing plus 108? On the money line, Angels. It was early. What's it now? Plus 105. Is okay, well, that it was... It opened to plus 111. It's that was down. one hour ago, so yeah. well, I'll take 105, Pistol okay. Pete. I'll take 105. I'm feeling good about that. Angels cash for me last night in the first half, but tonight I think they put the whole game together. Texas, uh, I don't know. I just don't know about. Is it Hollins on the mound? Yeah. If I'm correct, he's a, he's he's a, he's a he's a uh, serviceable guy. He's serviceable, but when he's bad, he's bad. When he's good, he's good. But I yeah. think LA's bats take over. I think Trout and Pujols have a big game today. Angels money line plus one hundred five. Pistol Pete, I'm wow. good about okay, it. Okay, and I'm on the over on that one nine yeah. plus one hundred five. Then another one. This might be a sneaky good play here. You know, I I, I look for second half value sometimes. Yes, you. San Francisco against the Mets, right? Ooh. Now, uh, Jake DeGraw is, is 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 excellent. He could throw a shutout. More likely, I think he goes six or seven. Yeah. Uh, San Francisco is a huge underdog right now. They're plus 186. You could get them. Uh, Kane is not a reliable guy. No. But I'm thinking that San Francisco on the second half might be a good bet. Probably going to be about plus 110 or something like that's that. That's interesting call. And, uh, yeah, I will actually give that one officially. I'll on give the San Francisco. Half, I like that. It should be about, we'll see what it's, we never quite know what these are second half lines. I'm guessing it'll be yeah. about plus 110. Yeah, and I'm thinking if Kane doesn't leave the ball pin in too much of a mess, yeah. then they might be able to jump on that. Now, I got two plays in that game. Really? Let's yes, hear it. Yes, I do. I'm going with the Mets' oh, first boy. half run line. Okay. It's minus 130. Was okay. minus 130. Yep. Okay. Again, Mets' first half run line and also the Mets' full game run line. I was I grabbed it at plus 115. I think it was Heritage, but I don't know if it's gone down. Yep. Intertop still has it. It's, it is going down. Yep. Heritage has 110. Pinnacle, 113. Yep. That's right, a I'm, good sign for you. Yep. But on my uh, but the Greek and Intertops both Intertop, have plus 115. Plus 115. And again, yeah. I hit some first half run lines yesterday, two of them, and I just like that early. And I like that you're thinking on the second half. Yeah. That might be something to look into. This is another one that I bet on the overnights on the over. Uh, even with DeGrom, uh, I took a shot with the over. Really? I think that, yeah, I think that uh, DeGrom will give up a few and uh, and, uh, and yeah, there's, Kane There's probably some bats hit. on, um, but I don't know, is Posey playing or is he just resting? Oh, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what the lineup is. I didn't check uh, okay. the lineup, but uh, yeah, I'm thinking that uh, that the Mets on the team total over might also be good if it's four. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't check what yeah, the team total was. No, but, I think uh, they could so, get that in two innings. Yeah, that's something game. I'm going to have to uh, tweet, you know, so I can't give it uh, in this in And not this to jump video. off subject, yeah, but Matt Cain's another one of those guys that two or three years ago signed that big, big, big yeah. contract, and again, I don't understand why these teams Pete, pull the trigger on these big contracts with these older guys that are getting, you know, in the latter stages of their career. I'll shut up well, with yeah, that. Yeah, they're just stupid. It's 
right. moving right along. All right. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. What else? This is a lot of interesting <laughs> things. Let's, uh, I mean, uh, Miami, that's an interesting Ooh, game. Ooh, how about them? Their yeah. bats came alive. So is, is that it? Did we get all your picks? No, I got two right, more. let's hear your others. Okay, and I'm going, now hopefully it's out by now and you may mm -hmm. have it. I like the Tigers today, buddy. I mm. like it big time on the full game run line, plus 130. And I said it yesterday. I talked about it in our video. Victor Martinez. Yeah. I had the Tigers yesterday, um, and they cashed easy for me. But Cabrera is getting a lot of attention. But guess silently and quietly, Victor Martinez is just absolutely killing it. So I love him on the full game run line. It was available plus 130. Well, we're giving you 132. Well, which thank is you. what we have like right that. now at Pinnacle. That's my line shopper. Mm. And also, do you have the first half run line? Because, no, I don't have it, but okay. Uh, but uh, okay, you want to take that one? I'm going to take it, and I'm going to guesstimate it's going to be about minus 115 or 120, Pete. And uh, the I'll first half it. run line? Yeah. Oh okay. no, it'll be better. That'll be about plus one, plus 100, plus. You think it'll be a plus? Okay, because like right. the money line is uh, minus 130, minus okay, 140. Okay, well then that's my bad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So again, first half run line and the full game run line, cashing two tickets with the Tigers today, and I will post. Uh, it, exactly what that line is mm -hmm. on the first half. You know, so. Duffy's been Duffy's been good. He was good I in know. the minors. He's he's a guy who has uh, you know major league experience. Yep, it's nothing against Duffy. I just like the directions of Detroit's picking up some steam with their bats. Okay, is that it for you? That's it for my picks. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of them. If I can six go over of them. them, go go ahead. All right, review I'm them. feeling good about them. All right, the Mets first half run line. Uh, it's about minus one thirty. I've got the full game run line with the Mets plus one fifteen. I've got the Tigers first half run line that might be about plus one oh five, but I will post it. Also, the Tigers full game run line plus one thirty two. I got the Angels today money line plus one oh five, and I got Cleveland today on the run line finally slowing down them Phillies plus one thirty. Okay, and what did I announce? I got uh, Houston first five innings on the run line. I got uh, Angels in Texas over, and I got San Francisco on the second half line. And uh, let's see, what else should I give? What else should I give? I could, uh, what were my leads? That one, Washington on the first five, that's tempting. Come I don't on, know. Man. Come on. Here, let yes, me see. Pete, you're in a zone. You, you know who else? You know, I, I might be leaning towards uh, Toronto on the second half line. Toronto looks like they're picking it up. They are. Right? They are. They I'll give that one that to you. That was another Toronto, big winner yeah. for me yesterday. Toronto on the second half line, that should be about minus 120 or who so. Who are they playing again? They're playing Tampa Bay. Ooh, yeah. And, uh, you know, Archer. Oh, Archer. Starting, yeah, second now, half, though, you're yeah, right. Right. Like he, could, he, could, he could throw a complete game shot out, sure. But uh, I feel like Tampa Bay, their offense is a little bit lethargic. Toronto picking it up. But I did read, you know, Archer, he's got a real good handle on Donaldson, on Tulowitzki, and then Carcion. He knows how to pitch to them. As so long as he doesn't go too deep. Yeah, he looked great his last outing, but we will see. Um, you know what, Pistol Pete? We're almost four weeks into it. How you feeling about Major League Baseball? Pretty good. How you feeling about your production? Oh, very good. Okay. I'm very, very good. I'm up on the year uh, in my uh, in my in my overall picks. Uh, how about your tweets? Account? We didn't talk about last night's tweets. What oh, happened? Uh, yeah, I was uh, my my NBA is killed. I uh, yes. I forgot. I I, oh, I had a couple of big losers with the uh, with the NHL picks. I had two big okay. losers with the NHL picks. Okay. But aside from that, everything was uh, everything right. was fine. All right. So those are my four I, picks. Because I'm feeling good about it. We're into the season, starting to you know kind of see what direction some teams are going and what pitching staffs and the yeah. initial injuries, but production, buddy, that's what it's about. Gosh, let me think. Uh, and then Colorado, Arizona, that over is tempting. He's not done. He's not done yet. Yeah, yeah. Felt then, good then, last then, night. Then, then Boston, four, and, then, and, and then Boston, and then Boston on the money line, and then Philly on the first five innings. Man, all right, I, I guess. Do it. Okay. <laughs> Come on, do it. Should I? No, no. I, Granky might. Who knows what will happen with him? He might. He might uh, turn it up. All right. So, so I'll just keep it right there. Okay. I'll keep it right there. A. I, so I got. Uh, Toronto second half. Yep. I got um, uh, San Francisco second half. I got Houston first half uh, run line. I got uh, Angels in Texas um, on the over. And I guess that's about it. Okay, Pistol Pete, let's do it again. We knocked him out last night. I think we our, can do yeah, it again today. A lot of buddy. other borderline picks, though. We'll be back for the Monday card on Monday. Great knockout punch last night, Pete.